me Are you riding? Say you never ever leave from beside me Cause I want you And I need you And I'm down for you Morning guys, how y'all living this morning? How y'all doing? Get it how you live, okay? How y'all doing? Now we're married to medicine. I'm gonna start off basically talking about it. But I may put some chit chat in with it because I'm noticing a lot of people not just interested in married to medicine. Yeah, I don't know what y'all missing. Married to medicine is good. Yeah, it's on and popping, okay? Uh Dr. Contessa is turning out to be the one getting all the camera time right now. Y'all know they still at uh, Dr. Heavenly House because uh, last week, Miss Quad decided to show up to the crab boil. And um, everybody was fighting with Quad. Everybody was fighting with Quad, okay? And I'm like, y'all, what is going on? They mad with her, basically. A lot of them feelings hurt because they say she hadn't been around. And she basically said that she didn't feel like, you know, they supported her, basically. I don't know. I think Kwa was just shamefaced about what's going on, which is natural. Don't nobody want everybody to know they going through a divorce or they having marital issues or marital problems. You know, that's some things that you want to keep to yourself. Dating and shit that's going on and your mama's sick or your daddy's sick or... You know, and I think it's very, well, I guess you on reality TV, they said we want that same energy at all times. And that's why Miss Kenya Moore is no longer on The Real Housewives of Atlanta. She's trying to get this baby special. I say, y'all, we got to watch Ray J and Princess Love tonight in this baby special. You know what? Ray, <laughs> Ray J good for TV, but I'm going to see that shit. But I guess if it's on, I'll be watching it. But I'll be watching Miss Maddie. Miss Maddie. The Queen Supreme Court. The Queen Supreme Court. Ah, go girl. It's the Queen Supreme Court. <laughs> so anyway, guys, y'all, we still at emotion. We still going through this emotional roller coaster at Dr. Heavenly's house. Dr. Heavenly and Mariah has got into it so bad. Dr. Heavenly told Mariah, "Get the fuck out of her house. You would not disrespect me on my turf." And uh, Mariah said, bitch, it's nasty in here anyway, y'all. And we all laughed and thought about it because when we seen that crab on that floor and that bitch picked that motherfucker up and dropped it back in the trash, I mean in the pot. <laughs> I said, this nasty bitch right here. And Dr. Simone said, well, we gonna eat that? She said, the hot water kill the germs. They chasing the crabs around and throwing them in the pot. I was dying, okay? That's probably why I don't eat seafood. They throwing that, they, they picking it up off the ground, throwing it around. Y'all, here go Highway Patrol. Y'all better go on, leave me alone. So anyway, guys, um, Dr. Contessa and uh, Toya, they basically not getting along. And um, when uh, Dr. Contessa comes in, she just give Toya a hug and kiss like, you know, I'm sorry. I didn't mean no harm. I'm going through a lot. And Toya still wants to fight. I said, you attack it, helpful. You attack it, Toya, for real. This girl, dad, is sick, uh, battling cancer. Dr. Contessa, get ready to have a double uh, a mastectomy. Uh, you know, when you're getting a, a double, she having the breasts, both breasts removed. And uh, hit me in the comments and bust it to me or whatever. Bye. Anyway, she's getting ready to have both breasts removed. And um, you want to fight about her not showing up to your party, Tacky Ho. And he, she sent her husband. Girl, if you don't go set your ass down somewhere. I said, Toya, I really want to like you. I like Toya. Toya, it was good, I think, last season. I like you, Toya, but then you start doing that fuck shit that makes somebody want to reach in there and grab your ass and just shake you the times get better. The girl going through a lot and you still want to fight with her. What is wrong with you, girl? Girl! If you don't go have a seat somewhere. So anyway, 
they, uh, Dr. Jackie, it's her one year anniversary for two year, whatever, this fitting, you know, program she got. And Curtis shows up. She's an office soccer to, you know, her assistant. Curtis shows up, you know, because on screen, got to make sure you show up with some flowers, uh, Dooney and Burke, uh, Gucci, uh, 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 Michael Kors, or some to make everybody feel sorry for what he did last season so of course he shows up and um i don't know happy anniversary to a year of me not cheating on you i don't know what the hell the flowers was for but you know we gonna accept them take them we gonna roll with it okay <laughs> so anyway we moving on we moving on and she's like i want to plan an event and she, i guess she went jumping on that uh, one of them jumper things and she really had fun so she wants to do the event at uh, one of them bounce things okay so anyway she's sitting there she's like I'm gonna team up each girl who don't get along with each other so we could try to fix what's going on because the last time we were all together it was just so emotional I'm like um bitch <laughs> um Basically, you came at the end, and we're going to call you the savior, okay? But that Dr. Heavily, that Dr. Heavily, I'm sitting here, that's the one I meant to say bitch about. Dr. Heavily is seeing a doctor. We find out the doctor is an anger management doctor, okay? She said a head doctor, whatever. We find out Dr. Heavily got some serious issues, okay? When he's sitting there talking to her, he's like, why do you act the way you act? What happened in your childhood? Why did, you know... Why do you mistreat this girl? She said, what do you do with a bitch? And this is how she's referring to Mariah. Always doing something pissing you off. And he looking at her like, <laughs> she said, bitch. Yes, she did. I said, Dr. Heavily, you was a crazy hoe. <laughs> but I love it. You know, we need you to shake the table, okay? And he's sitting there like, well, what, ma what angers you so much about this girl? She said, you know what? This bitch look like my sister. My sister was the pretty girl, but I was the smart one. So every time I see Mariah, I think about my sister. I said, oh my God. And she said, my mama didn't give me no love. And I'm just, she's just angry in life. And I said, wow. I said, you know what? A lot of people don't realize things that happen to you in your childhood. It comes out in your later life. And we, we don't realize it, but it do. So anyway, um, we trying to keep, you know, we trying to figure out, can this bitch be fixed <laughs> or not? <laughs> no. She cannot be fixed. We gonna, we gonna give Mariah, you know, six more months of uh, anger management. So anyway, um, Mariah is, I mean, not Mariah, you guys, Dr. Heavily, yeah, my coffee. And, uh, Good morning to everybody. I just got on here and got to talking like I ain't got no matters. It's Tiki time, okay? One of the young men that work with me say, y'all would say, it's Tiki time. It's Tiki time. So it's Tiki time, y'all. Yasmani, this is dedicated to my co-worker. He say, it's Tiki time. Tiki time, y'all. So anyway, um, I don't want nobody coming after me. <laughs> I don't give up. Ham sandwich. One thing about being on the internet, everybody idea is everybody. We take everybody work and we and we bounce off of it, or um, we talk about it. Everybody voice their own opinion. And like I say, I like to see all the different opinions. Opinions are like assholes. We all got one. So let's just enjoy everybody's and keep it cute. Or keep it on mute. <laughs> so anyway, guys, y'all. Dr. Heavily going to anger management and it's not helping. This bitch is still crazy. She's still 5150. And she needs some serious, some serious help. So anyway, the doctor sitting there looking at her like, bitch, I don't know what to tell you. Go put your head in the damn toilet stool and ring it around. <laughs> Yeah, where that came from, I don't know. But anyway, uh, basically, uh, Married to Medicine, it was it was a good episode. Um, Tacky told you, told they had the event, Dr. Jackie event. Everybody showed up. She paired everybody up with the one that didn't like each other, and uh, 
Dr. Eugene, when he was throwing the ball, he knocked Dr. Heavily upside of his head. I don't think that was an accident. I think he tried to knock some sense into that, that whole head, okay? And uh, Dr. Simone and Quar ended up talking and making up, so I was happy about that. I think Dr. Simone was more hurt. She, I'm your friend. You know what? Then that happens in life. Sometimes people get mad, so mad, and they walk away from things. And you could be just around some, and you get put in some, and I don't think that's right. But I respect people's privacy. I had a girlfriend I was so close to back. She worked with me, taught me how, everything I know, how to be a, a, a strong woman. And like I said, they were buying houses, and I was young, so it taught me how to buy one. It taught me how to be, you know, a wife, a mother, because they were the girls, the older girls were so motherly around me. They were black women, you know. And uh, I appreciate Y'all, sometimes we say it's hard to work with our people. But I think I would work with my people before anybody else. Because one thing about us, we keep it real. We don't like you, we don't fuck with you. We don't patty with you and go to human resource. We don't smile and grin in your face and stab you in your back. We don't talk about your race and, and, and you know, how we don't feel like you should be where we at and walk away. One thing about black people, if we don't like you, <laughs> we don't like you, and we don't fuck with you. So anyway, y'all, back back to Married to Medicine. <laughs> yeah, Miss Tiki. Huh in this mouth, y'all. Tiki time. So anyway, um, they at the uh, little event for Dr. Jackie. Everybody having fun. Dr. Heavenly done got knocked upside her head. <laughs> Everybody laughing. Dr. Heavenly getting her ass out of there because she said, uh-uh, this trampoline, this jump shit ain't for me. And I said, oh, I feel you sometime, Dr. Jackie, but put a little, just a little exercise into your curriculum. And anyway, uh, when Toya and Dr. Contessa chit-chat a little bit, Toya say, oh, let's have dinner and talk about it. They end up having dinner to talk. And uh, Dr. Contessa came in and Toya and uh, Toya is like, you know, I just want to have know what happened to us. Where did we fall off at? Dr. Contessa said, I don't re recall us falling off. She said, well, uh, Toya said, you always got some slick shit to say. You know, like when I, we paid off our debt and I threw the party. You was like, you just paid off your debt. Why would you throw a party? And Dr. Contessa is like, well, I thought we were cool enough for me to joke with you. You know, basically, I didn't mean no harm. Yeah, it's just a police car down in the ditch, burnt up. Like, what's going on over there? So anyway, Toya's just getting very tacky with it like she normally do. They order him food. And uh, uh, <laughs> Dr. Contessa is like being passive aggressive, talking to the server, um, just ignoring Toya, childish ways. Toya's getting very, very heated. Dr. Contessa order her food. She said, are you going to order some? And uh, Toya like, no, nah, bitch. Like, fuck you. I'm going to get up and get the fuck up out of it because Toya's pissed because Dr. Contessa handled her ass really well. She didn't get disrespectful. She didn't get loud. She just totally made her look like a fucking five-year-old. And I loved it. Dr. Contessa, you did a good job with her ass. Yes, you did. And uh, Tech and Toya got up and walked out. That the contest looked over there and said, I'll have another one of these. And laughed, honey. And Toya was pissed. <laughs> Toya could not understand. This girl said, I'm going through a lot. My father is sick. My mama dead. I'm getting ready to have both of my breasts removed. And I don't know if she knows this. And she just don't care. But uh, you guys, Married to Medicine. Thank you guys for sliding through it. The like button. Follow me over there. IG Tiki44. Snapchat Tiki44. Everybody have a blessed, 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 blessed day. Bye, guys. Shake it like a polar vortex.